Hi my friends, welcome again. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on the action plan screen. Also, we're gonna learn how to get information from Planner. Basically, how are we gonna list the list of tasks that comes from a particular plan. So let's dive into it. Okay, so let's continue. Now let's add, um, in this case, we're gonna add a display form for this section, for the customer info, info section. And just let me resize this. So this, this, this other section basically is gonna be more easy, more easy to configure because basically it's gonna show me information that comes from the other gallery. And we have already done that before, right? Um, so we select this uh, display form and we need to specify obviously the data source. We know that the data source is the customer's list. And if we go to the item, basically here we're gonna show the item that has been selected from the customer's gallery, right? So in this way, we just specify the customer gallery. And in the fields, we basically here, we're gonna select each of the fields that we need um, to show in this uh, form, in this display form or view form, right? So we're gonna just select uh, some, some of these fields. We click on that. The fields have been added. Now we can do some customizations here. Let me add a custom card because here, remember, we wanna show also the flag of the country for this customer. So with this, with this custom data card, we just can add the control that we want. So in this case, we are going to add an image and it's going to be similar to the gallery. Remember that in this gallery, we have this, this image. So just let me copy the same function. Uh, basically, it was a condition, right? Remember that the, we have this condition that will show me the, the, the image of the flag depending on the name of the country for this customer. So we can copy that, but here we're going to need to do a particular adjustment. So just let me copy this same condition, but instead of specifying, we're going to replace basically what it says country with uh, this item dot country, right? Because we need to be specific that we are talking about the particular item that have been selected from the gallery. So yeah, let me replace this condition with, with what we just changed. Um, now we can see that it's working, right? We now to see the, basically the flag of this country. And let me just resize this uh, data card so we can see all the fields that we want in the same row. And let me show four four uh, fields in, in one row. And again, let me do some adjustments to the titles. Uh, it's important to keep the same look and feel. So we're gonna change the fonts, we're gonna change things like the, the size. Let's do this quickly. Okay, we change the size and that's it. In this way, we are showing the values from the from the second section, right? So when we click this customer, for example, and we click, it, we click on this plan, now we see not only the information from the opportunity, but also from the customer uh, that it's inform, import, important information that we wanna show in the same screen, right? So now we can work on the third section. And for this third section, we're gonna use a gallery this time. So look that we are using everything we, we have learned before, right? We are using forms, we are using galleries, we are basically using variables and getting the values from the original, from the home screen. So now let's uh, customize this gallery, but before doing that, let's go to the invisible property of this screen. And here I have this function. Basically we are getting, we are using the collect because we are creating this collection, the old task collection. And this time we are using our planner uh, list, our planner connector, 
and using the list task version 2 method basically it's going to show me all the tasks from a specific uh, uh, ID so remember we are getting the ID uh, that is stored in my SharePoint list with this, uh, with this fush function basically we are filtering and getting the value so in that way what we're going to do is basically store the list of tasks from that particular plan and so when we change the in the items we basically need to specify the the name of this collection now we are using a lot of collections because you know the you see the value of storing that information in, in memory right uh, so now that we have specified uh, in the items property the name of the collection basically we are getting all the, the list of tasks uh, in this gallery and we can start adding some of these uh, controls so we can add labels we can add in this case we're gonna add html uh, controls to be able to have more uh, flexibility on the customization right you see that by now we for example are not showing values because we will show those values when when the screen load remember that we are collecting that values from uh, in the vis on visible property so when we load this screen we are gonna get those values so you see basically when i put this item dot basically we are specifying the properties that this times comes from the from planner right for example due date time is a property that comes for a task in planner it's similar in the way that we do this with with sharepoint in this particular case for example for the bucket name we are using another method we are using the list buckets version 2 and we are specifying the id the plan id to get the list of buckets and basically filtering where the id of the of the bucket is equal to the the bucket id right that basically will allow me to show the name of the bucket for this particular the particular item for each item in the gallery right right um, so let me let me accommodate these fields so basically we're using all what we have done we, we have learned before but this time with a connector of of planner it, it's similar uh, of what we do with SharePoint list like we, we can use filters um, and now you can see for example how we are showing the values because we already have loaded those on the in the invisible property and we can get additional value for example by now we have the backend name the start date and the due date let me add an additional data in this way we are getting all the data that we need from each particular task right this is going to be the assigned to and in this particular uh, value we are going to use the office 365 users uh, uh, connector and the method user profile because we want to get basically the name of the user who have been assigned to do that also we are going to use the get task uh, and get uh, the assignments property and get the from that uh, value we are going to get the user id so basically for the users who has been assigned it we are getting its user id and the display name is a property that we are going to get using the, the office 365 user connector so we are if you, if you can see in that method we have used uh, two connectors right the office 365 user and the planners connector and just doing some of additional validations we are getting the the user who have been assigned to this task okay so we have uh, all the values and let me add an additional one uh, this is gonna be the the comp the progress basically so to get the progress we get the percent complete uh, property but we are doing some uh, validations determining of the value of this property we are gonna show the text in different colors right so for example we can show in uh, in green uh, red or yellow depending on the on the value if it's a 
less than 50 for example we are we are showing in red is it it is within my range we are showing in, in yellow in, and it's green it's greater to the value we are showing in green and for the description again we are showing the get that details uh, method and we are getting the, the, the description properties let me do some final adjustments just some changes to the look and feel so basically as you can see it's a combination of methods of queries uh, some of them are easier to get directly through the, connect, the planner connector some others we will need to do some as you can see some additional uh, work to get those values but here you have all the functions that you can reuse and replicate in your in your uh, tests so let me do that some final changes to the look and feel to see to show them better now when when we preview we see all that list of tasks that comes from a, from the particular plan right let me just add a this rectangle that which is going to be something like a separator and let me copy this button that we have in our screen then in our screen template uh, which basically is going to be the button that is going to allow me to edit the item from the particular uh, task right now let me add some additional icons that i'm going to use uh, we can put this size and position them and a final icon okay now when we see the preview it's it's looking better, right? We can do whatever customization that we want, but that the, uh, the most important is that we are getting the values from Planner. Now, let me add a, an additional connect collection. And in this collection, we are basically, which is my task call, if this is the name of the collection, we are basically using the method list my task from the Planner connector, which is gonna show me only the task that belongs to me or that I have been assigned to me. Uh, so it's going to be similar to the, the, the method that we used before. As you can see, we're filtering by the, the, the plan ID. But this time it's going to show me basically only my task. Right. So we have two collections, one collection to show all the tasks and one particular collection to show only my task. And I'm going to use I'm going to create this variable. I'm going to get update the values of this variable. Remember that we are specifying all of these here in the invisible uh, method the value my task is going to be on full basically it's going to be something like a flag which is going to determine if i'm showing only my task or all the tasks so in this icon i'm going to set the value of that variable to true because actually that's gonna uh, in this time is uh, when i click that i want to show only my task and when i click on this other icon basically i'm gonna put the value the value of that variable to false right so this is gonna be something like a filter so now in the gallery in items property i wanna put a a validation if the my task value is true obviously what i'm gonna show is a collection of my task but if it's all i'm gonna show the collection of all tasks that's the easier way to filter right so that's the importance also to have uh, different collections. We can um, pass different collections to the to the gallery. So let me go back and test this again. When I click here, you see that the, the number of items that I'm showing have been reduced. We are we have only a couple of items that have been assigned to me. And when I click on that, you can see that we have all the tasks that we want to show. OK, my friends, that was all for today's video. Thank you for the continuous support and feedback that you provide me. I am going to be doing more of these videos based on your comments. So please continue with, with that feedback. Um, hope to see you in our next videos. Bye.